Hey y'all, it's Empress here and I'm back with another video today. Um, I have some downloads today and for some reason um, the category is extremely um, grotesque. Extremely grotesque. Extremely dramatic. It's a lot to handle, um, but this is what I'm picking up, and I want to get the message out. Hopefully, um, this won't get flagged. I'm going to try to speak as, you know, vaguely as I can. Um, well, not, I shouldn't say vaguely. I sh I'm going to try to speak as... Code. Like, y'all know what I'm trying to say. We're going to go ahead and invite in the Holy Spirit and invite in our ancestors. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Ancestors, you are welcome here. <laughs> okay, so... I picked up um, on a karmic mother who fancies her own child in like a super inappropriate way. Um, this child did tell someone that they trusted in the family. It could have been their father, it could have been um, a grandmother. Um, the person did believe them, but they didn't do anything to help them um, or to stop it from continuing. Um, there is a karmic feminine or masculine or both um, who make be like strange um, sinister faces um, their eyes kind of darken and um, it's almost like they're in the process of becoming possessed um, to scare a child as well as to hurt them um, in an inappropriate way um, and the the karmic they like, they enjoy the fair, um, in, in the, in the, in the cries for help. Um, they do some sort of chanting that leaves a child like dazed or memory loss, um, or maybe to like detach in some way. Um, but God, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but, um, this is, this is, this is a, this is coming to an ending very soon. Something is going to happen. Um, some receipts, some news, um, this could be on the actual news. Witnesses, um. will be, will be, will be the nail in the coffin for these karmics. Um, I'll also receive someone's karmic mother is or was teaching them um, kitchen magic. Um, this would technically classify the student to be a kitchen witch or a kitchen warlock. Um, all of the things that these karmics did while trying to do magic in their kitchen will be returned to them ten, tenfold. 
car accidents, um, possession, being haunted, um, and so many other things that the Most High God has in store for these karmics. Um, everything that the everything that they wished on the collective will be happening to them tenfold. Um, so I'm really I'm really hoping that they can handle what they dish out. Cause you know, I don't, I don't like wishing bad on people. You know, I don't like, I don't enjoy people's hurt. So if, you know, I'm just assuming because they're big dogs and you know, they've been doing this to everybody else that they will be able to handle it themselves. You know, sirens in the back. So that's definitely confirmation. You got the Ten of Swords and the King of Wands at the bottom of the right, right as I split the deck. King of Wands and the Nine, er, King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Excuse me. and the King of Ancestors, angels, archangels, and spirit guides that wish to see us walk the highest path for our greatest good. Allow us to tap into the energy. Tell us some stuff we need to know. Give us some insight on what we should focus on. Thank you. I'm going to fix my camera. What's going on with this story? I was thinking you can know and what you should focus on right now. So we have the Two of Cups, the Moon card, the King of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Um, so someone wants to give an equal give and take. Um, it was probably because, okay, so let me start that over. I'm moving too fast. Someone wants to give, an, or some ones want to give equal give and take um, with that Two of Cups. With the Moon card, there was some confusion, some deception, some something that was being hidden about maybe this Two of Cups energy. We have the King of Swords. So we have self-discipline. They have structure. They're intelligent. They're rational. They're powerful. They're, um, they have authority. So this person is, is feeling like they missed out on something with the Four of Cups. They could be bored, they could be um, uninterested. They they ignored something given to them by the Most High God, wish fulfillment, something that they had been wishing for, praying for. With the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, yeah. They, 
they asked God for this, but ignored it when he handed it to them. What else are we scared? Ten of Wands. So this something that's been completed. This has been completed. It's time for releasing. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So someone will be um, collaborating with like-minded people who have the same vision as them. We have the Death card with the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So, um, yeah, this is this Death card to me is confirmation for that Ten of Ten of Wands. Um, something has come to an end, and um. Sorry, y'all. I'm like here. I'm getting a download right now. Um, so we have the five of pentacles and uh, someone was left in the cold. Someone was left in the same predicament that they wanted us to be in. With the seven of swords energy, the energy they were stealing from us. They were being deceitful in our energy. Um, and the eight of wands is... Um, travel or harvest we will we will be getting the prayers that we ask for three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and because of this energy because of the receipts because of the news because of the witnesses we're going to be receiving our harvest and we have the seven of wands. This is, um, we're going to be defending ourselves. These people are, are going to try to treat us like they used to, baby. We got the judgment card. Yes. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Please. We are, we are, we're waiting for you. We're needing you. We have the World card and the Knight of Cups. Um, so with the World card and the Knight of Cups, let me think because the World card is like mm -hmm, like a completion, like a level up, like a level up, level up. It's like you have the whole world at your feet. Like you can do what you wanna say, what you wanna say. But I'm going to keep on. I believe that they can take from me, but they can't take my inner peace. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why that just popped in my head. <laughs> okay, so we got the work card. We got the Knight of Cups. So, um, yeah, we leveled up. And this knight is on his way to come express how they feel. Oh, ooh. ah, 
and he's an emperor. <laughs> so he's strong, he's a leader, he lays foundations, he's that guy, he speaks clearly, he speaks sternly. Um, four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, we're resting. Be tired, boss. Oh my God, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. <laughs> we have the, I mean, we have the Empress. I'm tripping. We have the Empress <laughs> right after the Emperor. Hmm. Who is also taking a rest with the Four Swords at the bottom of the deck again? Okay. And I love that. I love that for them. <laughs> I love that for them. Maybe it's for both of these energies because now that I'm really looking, right? So we have the, the two of cups. This could be for either the emperor or the empress who had to see for people in their energy, but now they're ready to like, to, to like, um, take a stand because they feel like they missed an opportunity. But they ended this with the ten of wands and, and released that shit. Okay, he's like, mm -mm, get out of here, we not. And then we have an, the an, the other um, energy is like, they ended something and left somebody out in the cold because they were stealing from them and um, lying and deceitful in their energy. Because they're about to reap their harvest, this is gonna cause some sort of um, discrepancy <laughs> from the karmics. But we have the world at our feet and we are um, about to find a new love, okay? Ace of Swords with the bottom of the deck. Yeah, peace, clarity, um, new beginnings. All that good stuff. Real love, okay? Something for real, which is rare, very much rare. So someone with the King of Pentacles, so okay, so the King of Pentacles came out with the Six of Cups. And this to me is someone built something. This is something was built from childhood. Something was, because the King of Pentacles is like someone who has a, um, like a, like a, I want to say empire, but like not, I mean, like they're, they're building towards something or they were building towards something, which is why they have all of this fruit around them. In this picture, see the fruit of their labors, get it? So it's like they were doing really well and um, maybe from childhood or something happened in their childhood that led them to be able to be financially um, sufficient. But we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, um, which is betrayal. So someone, maybe someone from their past betrayed them or someone in their childhood betrayed them. smart because I want a lot of friends. I never really went with the flow or the trends. I think I like girls, but I think I like men. Dochi is a dick. I never fit in overly cocky. I'm hyper ambitious. Me, 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 bitch. I'm narcissistic. I am a black girl. We have the king of wands, okay? Um, the sun card and the two of swords. Some sort of taking leadership, taking, taking ownership, taking control of their happiness. 
against it because they went within and gained clarity of their mind themselves. They're motivated to do this. They are strong, they're protective, they're loyal individuals, and they are looking forward to their happiness. They want happiness. They don't want betrayal. And they, with the two of swords, are gonna go within. And they are going to find clarity. Um, Find balance. That's really what they're what they need. There's a, a balance. You can't do too much of anything, okay? You can die from drinking too much water. You can't do too much of anything. So you really gotta have that balance in your life. We got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck there, wanting to be mentally, emotionally um, balanced and to be more in control of themselves in that aspect. Or maybe they are. I'm sorry. Maybe they are because they are the emperor. And emperor is all the kings together. So maybe they work toward this. These comics did not want us to grow. They did not want the, the collective to grow. Yeah, this happened because they had a tower moment. They had a tower moment. I am hearing releasing, but I'm also hearing... Um, like this, both of them receive some sort of tower moment to where it's like, um, losing stuff, yes, because I keep hearing losing stuff, losing stuff, yes, but um, also like being taught a lesson, you know, gaining wisdom from the experience on top of um, things being taken away. Um, this tower moment um, ends us up in the five of cups, the collective, it might be, it might be a little bit sad or it could be the karmic set of sad, but we did just go through a tower moment. So we might be sad. <laughs> We might be a little bit sad, which is normal. That's fine. That's fine because guess what? We still get the victory with the Six of Wands popping out the deck like Bazinga. Yeah, we're still the um, Most High God. Don't play about us. Yeah, he's going to help us become, bring this into an ending with the Ten of Swords. He's going to help bring this to an ending. And sometimes we need those lessons, you know. Sometimes I, I wish it wasn't as so as um my God, but you know. You gotta listen to yourself. You are your best mediator. I was talking to myself outside today. I was like, Avery, stop talking to you. Like, Avery, stop talking to yourself. <laughs> out loud, out loud outside. But it's like I'm literally consulting with myself. Like, I don't know, talking to myself. I, I talk to myself like that's, it is what it is. I talk to myself, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, I'm not ashamed to let people know. <laughs> because you really, you have the answers all with inside of you. So you don't need an outside source. That's how people end up um with missed opportunities they allow outside sources to coerce them or to um, make decisions for them i used to do that all the time i used to i told y'all i did remember i said um i used to be like i like this and then i'll ask someone what do they think about it they said they don't like it so then i pick what they pick and mind you the whole time i liked what the one that i liked you know what i mean so it's like the answers are already within you that's where you need to go that's where you need to go Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. So there will be, so someone knows how to make money, um, make money steadily and um, keep it going. Keep the dividends coming, baby. Nine of Swords. So someone's moving forward um, quickly. 
progressing. Their, des their desires are wanting them to uh, move them quick. Move or is going to um, have them moving quicker. Sorry. So well, I need some water. And um, yeah, I needed to stop stuttering. We have the magician card plopping out the deck. <laughs> out the deck. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, we're about to razzle and dazzle. We're about to put on our best. We're about to use what we have to make something happen. Ace of Pentacles. Some new beginnings and finances. Some new ideas, maybe, to help monetize. I was getting sloppy. <laughs> there will be strength given to us on our endeavors as the collective from the Most High God. Because of our um, decision to grow with that seven of pentacles and to become better, whether it be our finances, life, emotions, um, we will we will be growing. it up y'all seen it did y'all see it did y'all see it ten of pentacles and the will of fortune coming out together so listen not only do you have the victory with the six of wands and you bringing in dividends steadily on just on your own talent just on your own baby you're about to use that magic you're about to use what you got and you are about to monetize and change the trajectory of your whole entire life. Do you understand? You, your children, and your children's children, and so on, will be taken care of. Do you hear me? Yeah. New beginnings with that Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with finances. Because you decided to... Baby. Won't he do it? He say he would. Fight your battles for your baby. Wonder how you sleep at night. Oh man. So now we got the five of wands popping out with the lovers at the bottom of the deck. They about to be mad. You about to get a. Uh, uh, you about to get something nice, okay? They about to be jealous. They're about to be jealous, like they always been. That's why they were stealing from us. That's why they were lying to us. Mm. We got the Hierophant, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Sorry, y'all. I forgot to Um, so, this, the Hierophant always makes me feel like, okay, so I'm just gonna say, <laughs> 
Okay, so this Hierophant, so this spiritual leader is about to receive their Nine of Cups, um, their desires that they asked for. Nine of Pentacles, they will be um, creative, loving, confirmation, <laughs> um, um, enjoying the fruits of their labor, labor, building the life that they wish to live for themselves, keeping their individuality. Um, so, yeah, this spiritual leader is about to receive their desires and build the life that they um, aspire to be. And with the Six of Wands, they would be selling into smoother waters, calmer waters, with people that they love and that who love them. Ten of, Wands, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, an ending is here. An ending has occurred. And um, someone has evolved, become better. The kingdom is here. The kingdom is here. What else are you saying? And with this growth, with the Seven of Pentacles and the full card coming out together, you will be going on new adventures. You will be taking a leap of faith and doing something um, different that maybe revol um, re revolves around being this spiritual leader or uh, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, you'll take you'll be taking a leap of faith taking care of everything that you lay your hands on, lay your eyes on, that you care about, that you love. Um, caring, loving, nurturing. You know. Last path. Because it just, I don't know, it didn't make sense. That's all. And when it starts, it starts making sense, the story is completely auto. Try to give it a little bit, but yeah, because there wasn't nothing else. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Happily ever after to this person who, who took a leap of faith and released and grew and loved themselves. <laughs> I love that for the collective. I love that for me. And um, I love the most high God for making things right. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next video. Empress out. Mwah.